The UNI football team opened up the 2021 spring season with a top five battle against conference rival South Dakota State. In another epic battle between these two teams, this back and forth contest had everyone excited to be watching football at UNI once again. Here's what was on display in the Friday night opener as UNI hosted South Dakota State. Third-ranked UNI faced fifth-ranked South Dakota State to open the season, and the football game played out as the preseason hype suggested. It opened with SDSU's All-American running back Pierre Strong totaling 53 yards on the opening drive, but finished with just 91. UNI's defense only allowed a field goal as they got into a groove. UNI forced a fumble when Corby Sander knocked the ball out, and Eric Mooney recovered. That set up UNI's first touchdown of 2021 as two new transfers, running back Dom Williams and receiver Quan Hampton, produced big plays to set up sophomore quarterback Will McIlvain for a seven-yard TD run on a read option play to the pylon. The scoring drive was a sign of good things to come, especially for the transfers. Our new guys that came in the Proud program I was very pleased with, uh, Fountain Berry and Quan and Dom. Uh, Frazier, I thought, all thought uh, Sap, I all thought showed up and, uh, and did some really good things in their first football game here. The second quarter started with the first goal line stand by the UNI defense. Corby Sander in his return to action after missing the 2019 season made the fourth down tackle. Later in the second, SDSU would score twice to take a 17-7 lead at halftime. UNI's offense found it hard to rush the football, especially in the first half. They're, they're good defensive front, always have been. I thought 12 played a really good game for them. Uh, and we, we, didn't, we didn't perform well enough as a unit to rush the football. I did like how Dom ran, but we didn't execute well enough uh, across the board to be successful at it. In the second half, you and I made some adjustments. Will McIlvain went six for six on a scoring drive, resulting in one of two Matthew Cook's second half field goals. Trailing 17-13, you and I's defense came up with a huge turnover as Jared Brinkman forced a fumble on a sack and Benny Sapp III recovered the ball at the 19-yard line. Set up with a short field, you and I needed just three plays to score a 13-yard touchdown pass from Will McIlvain to true freshman Tyson Kershaw. With six minutes to go in the ball game, you and I grabbed the lead for the first time since the first quarter. SDSU was able to answer as they scored a go-ahead touchdown with 19 seconds left, and they left the unit home with a 23-20 win. Corby Sander led the defense with his 13 tackles. McIlvain threw for 165 yards, but you and I rushed for just 28 yards on the ground, the difference in the game. So we, you have to be able to, to, to get the ability to rush the football, and that's what we did not do. And that's what's got to be uh, focused on no matter what year or what team you got. It's always comes down in my world of, of rushing the football. The UNI Panthers hit the road for a game at Youngstown State in Ohio, where they'll play the Penguins in a stadium with cold weather in its name. And they call it the Ice Castle, and that's when you play. And that's when you played there in October. You know, now now it's think about what it's like now. So so so, so if it was the Ice Castle then, it'll be something else now. But it's you know, with this whole process, boy, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out because I've seen the film of a lot of teams now in this league and nobody's the same. 